Hello YouTube, my name is Isabella and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. The Obelisk Gate is the sequel to the fifth season, the first book in the Broken Earth trilogy. It was a book I read in 2018 and absolutely adored. It like floored me. It expanded what I think fantasy could be in my mind and it's just a book that I've thought of with such reverence for the past two years and I never continued on with the series. But I finally decided to pick it up this February and it did not disappoint in the slightest. The fifth season is set in this world where they are constantly or every like hundred or years or so are experiencing natural disasters and catastrophes which are called seasons. And when a season happens, basically the world ends, there's cataclysmic events, the population gets decimated, and it's just the way of life. At the start of our novel, we encounter a woman who just found her son murdered, and she suspects it was done by her husband. So she decides to track down her husband, who she thinks has kidnapped her daughter, all the while the world is ending. For like the final time, the biggest time, like this is the end. I have a full review for the fifth season so I'm not gonna gush about it anymore, like it's time to review The Obelisk Gate, but I love the fifth season. I don't remember what I said too much from that book but I'm pretty sure that my eyebrows were atrocious so please don't judge me, but if you're interested check out my review. Tangent, this is unrelated. Keep moving. I was really impressed with this story, I think N.K. Jemisin is a talent. And yeah, let's get into the review. For the world building, I was just floored. So impressed. It was so intricately well done. The first book does a really good task, job, whatever, of establishing the world and like the class, the social hierarchy, what's kind of happening. But this book really kind of delves into the history of this world and why things are the way they are and I just really appreciated the attention to detail. I really liked how it expanded upon what the first book did. I notice a lot of times, this is more young adult, but a lot of times an author will build a world in the first book and kind of forget to continue that in the second and I just like all the pieces that we got here to give us a more well-rounded sense of the world and just what makes it work. And as always I love the imaginative nature of this story and just the sheer scope of everything covered. The world building in here is phenomenal. With the characters I was beyond impressed with the development, the insight that we got into these characters. When I was first reading it I was thinking that not a lot has changed with our main character but she does grow and learn a lot. It's just a little bit more understated and her personal growth in here when reflecting was honestly very very great. I like the addition of other characters and the new perspectives that are interwoven in here. I think it also helps expand the world and what's going on not in just one central area. Learning more about these characters and how they work was just super interesting and I loved, it's hard talking about this because it's a sequel, but I love the other perspectives in here and their growth and their dynamics were really, really interesting and engaging. Something that was super well done is we definitely see how someone's past changes them and how their decision making is changed because of their past and you can even if you don't like the character or sympathize with them you can understand their actions because of who they are and I just love that because sometimes characters make really really dumb decisions to move the plot forward but this was entirely the characters moving forward on their own and I love that. Nothing is really easy or cut and dry at all for the characters and because of that they make some flawed decisions, some morally gray decisions and I just ugh, I eat it up all the time. The plot was the one element that I struggled with a little bit. It just was a bit slow, especially for the first half of the book. The fifth season there's a bit more going on 
and this one it's a lot more character focused which I love but the plot does kind of inch forward a little a little bit slowly for what I wanted I just wanted things to pick up a little bit faster that being said I loved all the revelations in here I loved everything that is starting to get filled in the best way I can describe this series or at least my experience reading them is like completing this ginormous puzzle that you are just slowly putting together in different spots and pieces and you don't know what the full like the end result is going to be and I think this book in particular added a ton of pieces in here to kind of like help you visualize like the scope of the story and where it's going to go but really also made me interested in how the finale is going to turn out. The writing is incredibly interesting. The way in which N.K. Jemisin chooses to tell this story is one of the reasons why this stands out and I don't find it gimmicky at all. I actually really like how she went about the narration of this portion of the story. We find out a little bit more why the story is told in the way that it is meant to and I just I love it. I just think this is so masterfully crafted. A lot of people don't like the way that this is told but I think she does it in such an interesting unique and just like genius way. I also really appreciated that there is an added element and perspective in this story that I wasn't expecting. It adds a lot to the story and also I think makes the story flow a bit faster and make it feel a little bit more faster paced than one of the perspectives would have been on its own. One thing that I am the most impressed with this book is how the more I think about it the more there is to unpack and the more there is to enjoy. When I first finished reading this book I think I gave it around a four star rating. It was super solid, super good, but things were a bit slow at times and the writing is still a little bit difficult to wrap my head around sometimes because of the perspective it's told in. But the longer I've talked about this book, the longer I've sat on it, the higher the rating has gone. I ended up giving this four and a half out of five stars. It's not quite the full five star rating, but I did very much love this book and I can't wait for the finale. I think N.K. Jemisin just does a fantastic job. All in all, the scope, the world, these characters, everything in here is just a recipe for success. I love this book. I definitely understand why it's won another Hugo. And yeah, I'm just excited to finally finish out the trilogy whenever I get my hands on the final copy. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of The Obelisk Gate. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Bye!